NMN continues to be popular in the anti-aging world, but there's a new study that just came out that I want to call your attention to that may give some people some cause for concern. So the study I'm referring to is this one. Metabolite accumulation from oral NMN supplementation drives aging-specific kidney inflammation. So what's going on with this paper? So we have younger and older mice that are given basically three different treatment options. Some are given NMN. Other mice, younger and older mice, are given both NMN and another compound called alampratide. Alampratide sometimes goes by the name SS31, and alampratide is composed of four different amino acids. And then there's a third group of younger and older mice that get no treatment whatsoever, and they're used as controls. Oh, and in case you're wondering, the older mice are 26 months old, which if you do the math, this this is equivalent to humans in their mid-70s. The younger mice are six months old, which is equivalent to men and women in their 20s to 30s. And all the mice get these treatments daily for eight weeks. So what happened? So when they analyzed the results, they found that in the older mice that received NMN, they had increased expression of genetic markers for inflammation and damage to their renal tubules. The mice that were treated with both NMN and alampratide also showed these same increases. However, it was less than those who only received NMN. This indicates that alampratide appears to have a kidney protective effect. Furthermore, the older mice that received nicotinamide mononucleotide also had increased levels of nitrogenous waste products like urea. Interestingly, this was not seen in either the control mice or the younger mice that received NMN supplements. Now, this is an interesting study, but there's a few problems with it. And number one, it is a mouse study, and I am the first to disregard mouse studies because we are not mice, we're humans, and even subtle changes in genetic variability between mice and humans can make big differences in how humans will respond to something. So this paper really does need to be followed up with some human clinical trials. The other thing with this study that I would call a limitation is that they did use quite a lot of NMN in these mice. So the equivalent in humans would have been about 4,000 milligrams for someone who weighed 180 pounds or 81 kilograms. And that is more than I think most people who are taking NMN supplements are actually using. That said, given the hype of anti-aging benefits that NMN is supposed to give us, and also the growing number of people on earth that have chronic kidney disease, I think based on this study, people who have kidney problems should run this past their nephrologist before using NMN supplements. And that's especially true for older people.